first photograph of this black boy. Uh, you know, these moments of repose, these moments when people are quiet within themselves. And, you know, he's about to dive off. But in that one moment, you know, people get in touch, you know, like with their soul place. And sometimes not even aware of it. And if those are the moments that I love most, uh, that, uh, you know, that, that quietude. Yeah. Over here, these, uh, you know, basically the story, the, the motive is continuously repeated throughout time. Uh, you know, the protector, the messenger, the children, yeah. the children, and the child himself. Uh, yeah. uh, and uh, it's, it's, for me, it's where everything is woven in, and, you know, texturally, and, you know, the way the, the oldness of this, the, the storefront and their bodies and the, the dirt and the grime and the Christ figure and the tape. And it's uh, basically, you know, we're all born of this earth. Hi, this photograph of the woman emerging from the car. Um, I always feel that you know, when you're walking at some time, something pulls you and tells you to stop. And you stop, and the picture isn't there, but there's something about that place. And it's very important to respond to that. You know, nothing may be happening then, but there's something then. The moment will reveal itself. Yeah. And this shows how this car pulls up, and this woman emerges. And so many times, it's very important when we get the first calling to, to, to be there, to stay. Yeah. And like, you know, get into it because something wants to happen. Yeah. And it doesn't necessarily happen the first click or whatever. Yeah. But there's one, there's one series, there's one of the back. Uh, uh, basically, I was, I was spending a whole period of time just looking at backs. You know. By a period of time, it might have been like four afternoons or whatever, but suddenly really getting into the backs. And, uh, you know, and seeing the body of sculpture, and then there's no question that if I, you know, we have this fantasy of what if I were blind, and I always think, well, I would be a sculptor because I know with my hands <laughs> I, would, I could create the contours of whatever yeah. I love, uh, with the, you know, the massiveness of it. And of course, this boy uh, in the sand, I mean, I feel it's like a, um, it's almost like a, he's, he's, in, he's, he's among the galaxies, among the stars, you know, among the firmament. Uh, uh, you know, swimming, swimming in the sand. And the grace, you know, the grace that we have, the grace that exists in this life, just, you know, the movement of sand, the movement of the sand itself, and textures. And of course, I mean, obviously, I'm, temp I'm very uh, sensual. I mean, I want to touch, I want to touch, you know. And so over here, I mean, the sand is something to touch. I and mean, then his body and the caked, yeah. you know, the, the caked sand, you could just push it off. And, and he's into that same thing, that, yeah. that touching. The yeah. way he comes around with his hand and the way yes, yes. Uh, cradles that. Such gray. We well, have, there is such, such grace that we have, yeah. you know, that we lose touch of and that we're often sadly unconscious of. And of course, this group of, uh, playing the guitar on the, on the beach, uh, it, to me, it's, it's very strange. I mean, this seems like such an old time, like an old, cla it's so classical, it's like an old painting. <laughs> You know, yeah. it's the, the formality of it, you know, and I wonder, you know, I mean, this is the last thing on my mind, but uh, it's so privileged that to be able to be this close, I mean, in my work, I don't want, I'm not, I don't want to be an outside observer. I'm in, I'm a participant. I'm in there. I'm, you know, I'm, uh, I'm on the sand and I'm in the group and I was crouching right in them and listening to them and, and watching them and so glad that I could be there. Yeah. But here again, I mean, like, you know, right on the, uh, cyclone. I mean, I always was one of the kids in the first car, and I put my hands up, you know, to show off and going down. And uh, uh, I always think of this one. These are my El Greco clouds. <laughs> uh, these, these kids on the uh, cyclone, but but it is. It's, it's just it's very. This, this is something very Spanish about this. You know, it's it's like a almost like a Picasso face mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. screaming there. And, um, but I love the, I lo I'm always surprised at the, the formalistic images that come out of spontaneous action-oriented situations. Well, they're very structured. And, uh, <laughs> but, but, you but, but you know, but you know, but you realize is that at one point, uh, like, I mean, I, I began in painting and I did design and so on and so forth, and I thought, gee, I've got to get this design off my back. But I realized how it's in internalized, it, you know, it's a design that is born of me. And I'm not thinking of doing this every time, it's just... Yeah. But I always think that, every, that almost any way you cut it, it's perfect. There's a perfection. Well, you know, like, for example, like, I mean, I love when there's a smorgasbord of imagery, you know, wall-to-wall, wall-to-wall yeah. 
flesh, faces, expressions, sweat, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, I one, if one photographer I love, uh, William Klein. Yeah. You know, yeah. when he does these photographs, you know, it's like everything, the whole plate is loaded, the place is loaded with it. But Coney Island is perfect for that because it's, you, you just, you get right in the middle of it. There's no end. You know, nobody ends. You just, it's like cutting one foot out of a carpet of life. But it's marvelous when all these surprises happen, these things that reveal oh. themselves that you can't, you know, you might not see at first and all these these little things. Absolutely. Just, the guy picking his nose. Oh, of course. Yeah. 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 Yes. Other orifices. Now, the yeah. truth is, yeah, really that, this, the yeah. <laughs> this is the guitar <laughs> shot. But you know, this, now, now I'm having to tell you the truth. This is set up. I told every person exactly where to put their hand. <laughs> yeah, right. 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 <laughs> right. <laughs> it, was a, it was a Marlboro. Uh, yeah, Marlboro. <laughs> 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 Yeah, this photograph of the woman at she night by the gyro mm -hmm. in Coney Island. Uh, but there again is that moment in moments yeah. when people get in, are in touch with that place. Whatever they're thinking about, they, you know, uh, we've been so cut off that we have these quiet moments. And, and you wonder, you know, when you see it within them, are they in touch or not? But you, yeah. think, but you think, but you see in terms of like, you know, this incredible architecture, you know, this world people are in. And this one, this is one of my favorite photographs, this girl looking at the horse, and uh, basically it's the girl and the beast, yeah. this beautiful beast, you know, and what art thou, what are they doing? Great. And I, of course, I identify with the child in each one of us, you know, this moment in my own yeah. life, in this moment, you know, and she's taking in the world, you know, on her, and with her own vision, not what she's being taught, not what she's being told. And unfortunately, these impressions that she's getting now from this horse, that's her truth, mm -hmm. that's her vision. And unfortunately, they'll be cast away by what this is not important, or this is the way you look at a horse, and so on and so forth. She's, I love, the, I love her, I love her, I love her, I love her. Yeah. and I love this horse too. Yeah, and of course, this uh, the sergeant, uh, you know, flirting or making out with his girlfriend, or whatever. <laughs> but you know, I mean, it's a, a quick moment. And you can read lots of things into it. Someone was commenting that oh, it's a terrible moment, and he was, has lust in his eyes, terrible or whatever. Moment? I know it was very surprising. Yeah, was very good. And uh, you know, and and it's uh, truth of the matter. Yeah, I was saying someone was saying it's a lecherous or whatever that means. But basically, I mean, I see the sweetness between these two faces. Yeah. I mean, this is a yeah. moment that transcends mm -hmm. stripes, you know, army experience yeah. or. Whatever her back, it transcends. It's something so human and wonderful that there is that moment of attraction and love and connection that unfortunately people don't stay with. And of course, that is the door finally to really, I mean, the word for love is to know, is knowledge, to know it one another. But it's, uh, it's so nice to see it happening here. Yeah. It's, uh, it is a wonderful moment, that hand and that bag he's carrying. See, and I'm, o I'm very into, yeah. particularly when I was younger in my printing, but in, into the textures, you know, yeah. the, the quality of what makes it a shirt and what makes a paper bag and so on and so forth. And this one of the, uh, the uh, black back with the hands behind it, uh, there again, it was, this is during that time I was very involved in back. I could have a show just of backs alone. Mm. And, you know, the way people, the, our body language, what we say, what we speak of, and there again, that sculptural, you know, and, and the texture, his, you know, that wonderful velvety texture of his skin and the and hands. I mean, what makes hands? I mean, hands, these incredible instruments, these, these you know, that from which we have the joy of touching whatever we love. And it can do all these, these uh, tasks and uh, express, expressions that we have. I think of that... Um, bird in the hand, which I'll we'll come to later mm -hmm. on, but, the, you know, what hands do. But there again, I mean, you know, this texture of this, it's so incredible, it's just filled with... And then in the, in the edges, you know, when some of the sky comes through, it's just yeah. the quality, that mm -hmm. silver, which is, I love so much. And I always do have a tendency to burn an old touch on the edge, because I don't like the print to bleed off into yeah. the nothingness. There's a firmness to that. And uh, there again, I mean, uh, you know, a van another vantage point, and I'm, I've always been... Uh, moved by uh, women's legs, and I've been moved by, and by what happens with this filigree on it. Mm -hmm. And as a framework, as a framework, you know, for this, uh, these people behind, the uh, children looking at a sideshow in Coney Island, and these two sailors on the, on the subway, uh, 
ground. Mm -hmm. I mean, the setting that's the setting for this whole wonderful plateau uh, uh, presentation of these two sailors and the place that they're in, that sweetness. And it's the other thing is the sweetness mm -hmm. of people. And, uh, you know, we have images of soldiers or sailors. So, you know, you look at these sweet, you know, they really should be, have their, their brows caressed, you know, <laughs> truly, you know. And you know, at that age, and what are they, 18, 19? And, you know, at, at, at one of the times that they're called a man, they're called a man. I yeah. think of my son. I mean, now he's 29. I think of him, and I think of him still, the boy, <laughs> the boy and him. I think of the boy and myself. Yeah. You know, the boy or the girl within us, the child, because we still are, and we still want to have our brow caressed, and we have attitudes. And, and so, you know, I mean, here they're in a very sweet place, but there's a certain macho-ness that see, people have to express, you know, that, to be the sailor or the soldier. Well, of course, mm -hmm. this photograph of the man with the tattoos, 13, mom, and bad yeah. luck. <laughs> this was just a second where I was just crouching on the beach, changing my film. And then I look up, and he passes, and I just took it in a second. I may not have taken it, but I thought about it. Uh, and I'm, out, I'm, I'm <laughs> you know, the thing is, behind this tough guy is also someone. The tougher it is, the more it'll, it'll break down in the mm -hmm. caressing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the heart of the exterior, and we all of us have certain exteriors, you know, professional exteriors or business exteriors or whatever it may be. Uh, but it's there, it's there as well, you know. And, but what amazes me in my, se in my own vision is like that was in such a second. I, there was yeah. no focus or whatever. Yeah. And the, the composition of it yeah. is so yeah. amazing. You know, yeah. I, 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 that comes up again and again. And I say, wow, it's, uh, yeah. I'm, I'm impressed with it. <laughs> you know, life mm -hmm. just continuously goes on. You know, it's, you know, basically, this is why I feel like, you know, it's like running through the fields pulling out bouquets, it's so, so much happening. And you can look, you can be the voyeur, to be the voyeur, right, to look. Yeah. You pull into one of the policemen passing by the family. Hmm. And the way people respond, I mean, each one of their faces, you know, is another response to authority. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they pretty well yeah. describes our feelings about it. And he's a kid too. This guy is a kid. Yeah, I remember those hands where uh, children, Yes, sure. Yeah. And that's a truth also. That's yeah. also a truth. And going you know, back to, again to the theme, you know, the father and child, you know, and the, the man and the boy. And like, you know, in his face, you know, you can see almost like Mastro, what's his name, the Italian actor? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mastro. Mastro. Uh, Marcello. Uh, Marcello. Mastria. Yes, and his face, you know, which is yeah. so, is so beautiful. And you, you know, you can look at this in several ways. I mean, he's his father, you know, we have an attitude yeah. about our father, you know, and so on and so forth. But you can also see him, you know, as a lover, you know, some uh, sensual guy with, you know, I could see a woman seeing him in, in that wonderful way, you know. And, uh, and yet there's a certain toughness. I mean, it's the way a cigarette is dangling. And, uh, and this boy, you know, starry-eyed or whatever. Yeah, this is the time of the fireworks uh, show, the fireworks show yeah. on, on the boardwalk in Coney Island. And uh, at that time, I mean, this was done, I, developed, I, I shot this on Super Double X, which is a 100 ASA film, which I used to push. But I developed this in Dectol. And I mm. had no sense of time. I just put it in Dectol for 10 minutes, pure, you know, undiluted Dectol. I know I wasn't concerned about grain, schmain, all that bullshit. And, and I got the image. Yeah. And the whole negative is fogged. You know? <laughs> the whole negative is fogged, and there it is. Yeah. Uh, but, the, but, you know, but I realize fathers and sons and and mothers and daughters and sons and baby. I, mean, that, that, I love that connection. And this child, you know, in this moment, you know, he, you know, he's born of the street, he's part of the street and his creation. And I wasn't even aware until I saw the print later on that he, the last number, 13 instead of a 31, which he had done. Mm -hmm. uh, but, you know, each one of us, you know, you look in that face, each one of us were a soul on our journey you know, at a particular time, and we, we lose touch with that. This is part of a series of children that I did in the 50s, and I almost called it the old children. Mm -hmm. You know, they were so old for their age. And many of us are born old souls, and you yeah. can see it. You know, you see it in regard, it trans, uh, transcends the chronological age. 
and uh, she fits only too well into a mother's coat <laughs> and lipstick and pocketbook. And you know, and this is taken in the 1950s, so uh, let's say if she's seven or seven years old then, or six years old then, and now she's uh, what? Uh, Forty-five. Forty-five. And you wonder, you know, you wonder if she's gotten in touch with herself yeah, or not. Yeah. Yeah. If this has been a, a prophecy that has been fulfilled. This. Uh, mm -hmm. This photograph here of the uh, these young people lying on the beach and the girl, the woman. The girl with her uh, portable radio. I mean, I love that when things are dated, you know, portable, yeah, the size of this yeah. portable radio, and now we have color TVs that size. <laughs> yeah. I mean, PC computers. Uh, uh, but that, now this was taken in 49. She was, um, this one, this was published in Life. I got a call from her nephew and saying that was his aunt and who had seen this. And somebody in Chicago saw it and called her and told her about saw it. Saw it in Life. In Life magazine. Yeah. And so um, she called me, yeah. and uh, she was uh, 17 when I took this picture. Yeah. I was 18. Oh. Right? Yeah. Got that? <laughs> Got that? <laughs> and her nephew was telling me, you know, she's even more beautiful now than she was in that picture. Yeah. And, and as a person, he's the most beautiful person. But it was so wonderful getting that feedback. Oh, from so have you photographed her again yet? No, I haven't <laughs> met her again. I've only spoken to her by phone. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, but this, you know, there again, this, you know, people grouping, you know, grouping together this smorgasbord of images of people and just the way, the way people drape themselves. What people do out of joy or for pleasure, it's like when a dog knows how to lie down or cat. Well, it's perfect, it's a perfection. There's that unselfconsciousness of all exactly. the people clothing that comes either from the time period or, like you said, from being on the beach. I yes. Know, like, you know, beach is such a wonderful home. place. For people to be. Yeah. I always thought, thought I would, if I was teaching, I would like to teach class where everybody's in water. Oh. Mm. You know? Everybody's in water. You know? Yeah. yeah. You know, you're a little playful. Yeah. You get too tight. Anyway. Water yeah. <laughs> and this photograph of the uh, couple with the umbrella from behind. You didn't uh, have to put that umbrella there. Oh, no. Directly in the sun. Well, you see her again. I mean, I, when I would, I would walk by and I see this couple, and I yeah. spent quite a time, I shot uh, two rolls, I was using a Rolleiflex in those days, and I shot two rolls, 24 shots of them, and just different things they were doing, and then there's one moment where it was just perfect. Yeah. Uh, and there again, it amazes me the cl how classical and, and how formal the, the, my design is, you know, it's, yeah. Yeah. it surprises me, because uh, mm -hmm. I mean, on one hand, I love this, you know, this un- this uh, smorgasbord of imagery, wall to wall, and then I have this other side. And here again, this man with a drinking beer with his wife. Mm -hmm. These people, I would come back to the beach many, many days, of, of course, and I know these people over years. They would always oh. congregate with the whole family. The guitar play was part yeah. of this group. Oh. So you didn't uh, have any problems? None whatsoever, no. Every, they, they would, oh, no, no. I, I, be, I, I stay around a lot. You know, yeah. I hang around a lot. They knew you. And... Uh, and I'm with him, and of course, and I love him. Uh, That's a great look for a woman. It's so wonderful, yeah. I mean, his, his hand, look, but look at the grace of his hand. Yeah. You know, look at that, the way he's holding that cigarette. Pinky, the and, that, that and there again, back to the father and uh, daughter. Uh, you know, the dignity of faces there again, two beautiful souls. I and mean, look at that hand. Look at that wonderful yeah. hand he has. You know, and look at her face. I mean, look at the detail in her face. It's like these old Renaissance babies that you see in old paintings, you know. The, the small the detail, the fineness of it. And getting back to the texture, the sand, and all of that behind them. With that one moment. Beautiful people, beautiful people. You know, you, get, you have to see people through the eyes of someone who loves them. From their lover, from their wife, from their child. You have to be, see it as you would like be that close. Yeah. To your parents and you know, and caress them and and see that sweetness and we forget that we you know we have attitudes huh, to age groups, racial groups, uh, sexual you know, uh, male or female, whatever it is, and we, and we don't we're no longer responding to that soul. And so of course, in this photograph for the people with the Coca Cola sign in the back of them on the boardwalk, you know, where, you know, what, how wonderful age is, how it's, t you know, when age, it marks the picture, you know, yeah. the haircuts and the, yeah. this wonderful, I remember these waves and, yeah. <laughs> yeah. and the sunglasses, of course, things come back in their own way. 
I mean, this almost looks like an ad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a set piece for that age. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Nice. From the beach looking up with being on the block or looking at this woman with the umbrella with a policeman behind her. Yeah. You know, that, that one moment of connection, the way people respond to you is really something else too. I mean, like, you know, with her, like, immediately, you know, there were some people could be offended or it could turn Threaten, right away. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's so wonderful. Yeah. And this photograph uh, could be like a studio setup almost, but I mean, like you know, a, like a Norman Rockwell painting where <laughs> yeah. just, everybody, everybody is doing a particular number, you know. Uh, is that a WPA project? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it does. I mean, him with a cigarette, yeah, these two here, you know, it's just I just travel over this. Yeah. And Coney Island is so great, you know, smallest blog of humanity. This kid's foot on <laughs> his mother thing, tying his shoes. Yeah. <laughs> But it's almost like, you know, they're in their, their own time. You know, it's it's theater. I mean, yeah. I would stand in front of these places and I just say, well, okay, you know, I'll just sit here. <laughs> and, you know, and it's a, what, a life. And so I love that Coney Island. And here, this group getting back, you know, more to, uh, you know, some a tender a tenderness. Uh, I've always, I mean, I've always been a sucker for dappled light. Yeah. Light mm -hmm. from coming through leaves the way it falls. And when it falls on bodies in particular, but the, you know, the, the sweet this this woman, yeah, yeah. you know, I was I was given a, a this is a photograph of uh, Virginia and Diane, and I was asked to have a show at a restaurant that she was the chef in that was hmm. just going to open up. They had asked a painter, and he pulled out or she pulled out a week before, and they asked me with one week's notice to have a show. And I thought, well, okay, but I will do it only on the base. I'm going to take all new pictures for it. In other words, I want this show to inspire me to get work. And so I went out for one day, and um, she was a chef, an incredible chef. I mean, like she made like Dali, Dali types, Dali type creations, both mm. in looks and tastes, with flowers as well as other foods that we're familiar with. And uh, she was a friend who came to help. Now she was already by this time an old friend of mine. But she, I just met, and oh, you look at her face. I mean, I really, yeah. I mean, her face is so, so beautiful. And but I was so moved that we knew each other about a half hour before this picture was taken, mm -hmm. and she just felt that comfortable. Mm -hmm. And and I and I have pictures of the whole groups of them on the grass. I mean, the, the, the men who worked there, everyone. I just said, I said, let's all huh. take our clothes off and go into the fields. Fantastic. Yeah. And of course, this girl uh, Georgina, who's on the uh, invitation, uh, on a photograph on Ibiza in this nude beach, where I got to know these families well. Mm. And uh, you know, what else? What can you say about her? You know, but it's Botticelli's yeah. uh, child and uh, her beauty. And, and you know, I, well, I was so privileged because I could be with them. I could just hang out, and you know, these are moments like after you know she's out of the water and into herself. And this was taken at the same time as the other one, the one of uh, Georgina and Rodin. And that grace, you know, the incredible beauty, you know, that the, yeah. that we have, you know, and this beautiful, just beautiful, beautiful girl, woman. Style? This is Ibiza. It's a it's an island of Spain in the oh, Mediterranean. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. They're an English. They're an English family. <laughs> and of course, and here here she was posing yeah, for me, yeah. but. We had just, we had the first time, the first time I photographed her, I know, after an hour, and she was so open. She has two other sisters who are equally beautiful and younger. I got some nice photographs of them, but I did my best with her. And the way that hair falls, yeah, yeah. oh, so beautiful. Just beautiful. I mean, incredible. I mean, I, I, I cannot get over how people are. I mean, you know, really. I mean, you look at their faces on any level, you know, on the sensual, on, 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 on feeling, on, on the soul, on the... Uh, and yet, you know, you read newspapers, you think it's, oh, well, it's a world inhabited by monsters. Yes. <laughs> well, they trust you. <laughs> and, uh, you know, there again, this boy and his father. They're just a German, German uh, father and son. And, uh, you know, photographing against the sky is wonderful. It's... Uh, you know, it's, 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 photographing against the sky is why it's wonderful when it snows. 
because the snow suddenly covers up all the details. Yeah. Suddenly you see very stark the structures, the descriptions, like almost like a pen or a calligraphy, and it's, and everything is uh, transformed. And so this, just with this, with the flowers, I would hold them up against the sky. Having this boy up there also is so wonderful, and seeing the way his body melds into his father's. And of course, then there's always that little moment that happens yeah. Yeah. that you're not looking for. <clears throat> Hands, 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 and again, you know, this feeling, this touching, you know, I mean, God, just imagine if you can, all the particular feelings, joys, and experiences that have passed through these hands, and will pass through these hands in, these, in their people's lives. May they be blessed with joy. But uh, there again, I think of a, you know, this, the lighting here by that window, which is always, the window light has always been my favorite. It makes me think of a Michelangelo's sculpture, and you know the the, the three dimensionality of it. You know, you can you almost see a sculpture carving it out. You know, these hands, and uh, and yet with photography, you can just go click. It's really saying, oh, let's face it. You know, we won't tell the world about this. We'll keep, it, <laughs> keep it among ourselves, but. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a couple of years ago, in uh, on like Crete. Yeah, on, on Crete, you know, this photograph of the dog and the, and uh, Karen and uh, her boyfriend. Yeah, but this way, yeah, yeah. He's yes, he's he's German, and I'm not sure what she. I think was Belgian. The Belgian. They were living on Crete, and. Uh, I just asked them to get it. I said I wanted to photograph them. We, we got to be very friendly, and they just started hug, picking up the dog, and things just happening. But I love the I love the uh, sculpture quality of this dog. But that one moment, I have so many photographs of them. They're really wonderful. Mm -hmm. But give me give me two people in love. Mm -hmm. Give me and especially without their clothes on, <laughs> yeah. and who are playful and enjoying it. And yeah. I'm in, it's heaven on earth. Mm -hmm. And uh, there again, get back to the you know the eternal theme. Like this is in Coney Island, of the boy kneeling before the ocean, and the boy doing a handstand in the background. It, the universality of it. I mean, I love backlighting because I love. I mean, there again, like the sky and like snow, it, it gives us a particular calligraphic shape. And uh, basically, you know, I mean, the scale. You know, basically, each one of us may come to terms with the universe. You know, with the monumentality of it. Yeah. Uh, and this, this boy would just kept on doing numbers and numbers, and so I could just stand and be a voyeur. From that same point, I photographed this man at that particular moment, you know, the archetype man, you know, that figure, and the shadow just repeating that. Uh, and this can almost, almost, almost like be like galaxies of yeah, stars, yeah. galaxies of stars. That's, that's, that's surf, and I think surf, I'm just taking a good uh, juxtaposition for this picture will be the boy swimming in the sand. Mm. It's also oh, like yeah. the, the sand was like galaxies yeah. as well. Because we are always in touch with that. And here again, this is my own hand. And I treasure every joy that has passed through these hands. And I, I hope that there are people that treasure all the joys that they've experienced with these hands. And also, I, what these hands have been able to do in terms of drawing and sculpting and uh, what have you. We should go to lunch. Okay. At this point, we'll hand it to me and draw it off. But I mean, I, I know, I just, I just love. Both that's hands. your hand? That's my hand, yeah. And you see, and I was standing, you see, and there again, another thing that, to, that adds to the sensuality of being in water, I would put my hand in the water and yeah. lift it up so you have the, the, yeah, the sensuality right. of the water drops. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I love photographing those uh, people by the beach, you know, where it's nothing like wetness. So, you know, I mean, anyway, this is what it's all about. This is my heart. I love my vision, my dreams, my life.